We mentioned a lot of festivities, events going on. This is a great one for those looking for some fun family events. Tis the peak season for these beautiful monarch butterflies. It's their long migration south. They're now starting to pass through Middle Tennessee. But over the past two decades, monarch numbers continue to decline to the point that they will likely be placed on the endangered species list. News Channel 5's Amanda Roberts takes us out to Radnor Lake State Park where they're working to reverse this trend. You're in a great spot. We just gotta be a tad patient. Flowering, ironweed, thistles, and frostweed. The yellow, purple, uh, whites. See how it moves around the flower though? Native grasslands are now standing tall and proud in Radnor Lake State Park. But it took 12 years and 150 plus acres to get here. We're restoring these habitats for future generations. We want you to see wildlife that you may not be able to see on a daily basis or in other parts of the state. So um, there's a monarch right there. A beautiful consequence, the migrating monarch butterfly. There's a monarch right there. See it? There's two of them now. You'll see them kind of spar, like pl fly together. And we're probably in our third generation that probably never seen a monarch. i have only seen one once or twice. So this absence or void, um, I think has created this urgency from those of us that may have seen a few. Um, we want to be able to see those now and enjoy it. If native grasslands continue to disappear from Nashville, so will the pollinators, birds, and butterflies, including the monarchs. We give them a vacation on their trip. Um, we get to let them stop, take a breather, and enjoy, get refuel, and go on to the rest of their journey. Their goal is to survive for their next generation. And if we all just jump in and do a little bit, it adds up. And that's, that's the goal, is to be the start. People can individually contribute to that. Their own yards, their gardens. Is that why we're seeing a lot more butterflies? I think so, I hope Yeah, because so. we've been seeing tons of them. And last year, I don't remember seeing very many butterflies. If we want to continue to welcome back the black and orange beauties. I think monarchs are Tennessee fans, but I can't prove that. They first need a beautiful place to land. Reporting in Radnor Lake State Park with photojournalist Bud Nelson, I'm Amanda Roberts for News Channel 5. Really interesting. Thanks, Amanda. By the way, we're always looking for ways to save your money. Radnor Lake's going to host Monarch Hikes for the next week. They're free, but you have to register. And of course, if you are there, you can pick up some native grassland seed packets to help oh. encourage the monarchs to stop at your home. Really cool.